here. You all ought to pat yourself on the back. Good job. Mike and Linda, man, you guys rock. I really have enjoyed, Patty and I have enjoyed meeting you, getting to know you a little bit. Jason, Maya, and the little girl, she's so cute, and I love your <laughs> slippers, and I'm dying to get a pair of them. I'm really them. So it's really been a pleasure. You guys, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for inviting Kevin into your world and sharing your most beautiful daughter with us because she's something special. And we really, really have enjoyed getting to know Erica over the last couple of years. I suppose at this point I should say, this is where I was probably going to break up, but I feel a little better now because I've had some wine. So Kevin, I, I just want to say some things to Kevin because, you know, Kevin, I just want you to know that a day hasn't gone by that Mom and I haven't been proud of. You've been unbelievable. And you know, I tried to think of things that were significant, and there were so many. One of them was I watched Kevin grow up, and I've seen him like, Things haven't gone the way they he hoped they would, and he absorbs that stuff so well. And then other times, he's successful, and he doesn't take any spotlight. He wants to share it with everybody. I mean, those are you must have got those from your mom's side of the family. I don't have that. I'm pretty much for myself. But I mean, I think probably one of the biggest things that really tested Kevin's character was me as a a father and he in junior soccer and I was the raving parent everybody regrets to have it around <laughs> running up and down the sidelines and Kevin somehow tolerated it in his own way taught me how to improve myself and become somewhat quieter on the sidelines thank you for that Kevin and somewhat not totally and I, I mean there's so many things I, I could say, but what, I just want to say one more that I thought was really poignant. When Kevin played at Bowling Green, one day his coach came up to me and he said, you know, Kevin's not the star, but I want you to know, if I was ever had to be in a foxhole, there's only one guy I would pick, and that's Kevin. Not that they wouldn't pick you, Chris. I do. <laughs> but I would have picked Kevin. And you know what? I think that's what Kevin is. He's steady, he's reliable, he's just the best guy. And Kev, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> thank you. Erica, Erica, thank you for being the person you are. You're lovely, you bring happiness wherever you go. It's, it's just amazing. I enjoy your company so much, we both do, and we just know that you and Kevin together are going to make great memories and we hope to be able to share a lot of them with you. So thank you very much for finding, finding them. Appreciate that. Now, I hate to keep talking, but it's my last chance. Uh, one of the things that I read on the internet was that the father of the bride was supposed to give advice. And, you know, I'm thinking, oh, that's pretty heady. I don't usually give advice, I get it. I'm, I'm father of the groom, yeah, that's even, see how much trouble I was having, I can even read the instructions. Anyways, so I, I thought deeply about it and, you know, I, I thought, well, you know, I've got some qualifications because my bride of 40 years, my best friend Patty and I, have had lots of opportunities to find reasons to disagree and things like that, and we've worked our way through it. So. This is what I've got to say. During your marriage, I'm sure there'll be lots of times when you have some disagreements. And that's normal and that's good. And Kev, if you're ever in one of those arguments and you feel you have the low ground or you're not comfortable with your position, immediately admit you're wrong and support Erica totally. <laughs> if by any chance you get lucky and feel you have the high ground, and that you're right, my best advice to you is shut up. <laughs> so, let's have a toast to the new bride and groom, Kevin and Eric.
but all right. And now for the uh, maid of honor, Malia Norman. Hello. I too needed help, hence the cheat sheet. My husband told me to take two deep breaths. Okay, first off, Erica, you look absolutely stunning. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Kevin, you look pretty handsome too. And together, you guys make a lovely, lovely couple. I might be breathing a lot during this. Okay, so my name is Malia Nordman, and I was Erica's roommate in college. This is my very first Matron of Honor speech, so I took it very seriously. And I was thinking about what my main objective would be with this speech. So I had the opportunity to live with Erica in very close corners for numerous years, and I've come up with a top 10 advice points for Kevin to make Erica smile. <laughs> Number one, keep the adventures going. Kayaking, hayaking, hayaking. <laughs> Take a breath. <sighs> Camping, whatever, keep it going. Got a girl from Spokane, loves the outdoors. <laughs> Gave me sweatshirts when I had none. <sighs> Number two, new kids on the block. And I must say, I did write this speech before I <laughs> came here this this trip, it was already done. So, you can't make her frown when you put that on. Number three, coloring books for those rainy days. Number four, Dairy Queen blizzards for those skinny days. Number five, create a secret language that only you two know. That way you can say things you want and not offend anyone. Kevin, you can ask Erica about um, FERPs later. Number six, good surprises are great. Always tell her she's prime time. I'm shaking. <laughs> Number seven, you have to adore her family. <laughs> you must. Dogs and Carter, just the way Erica does. Number eight are, well, the next two are warnings. Number eight, Erica has this persona that comes out, and it's called G.I. Jane. If you dare her to do something, it'll come out. If you dare her to do something, and then there's alcoholic beverages, it comes out even more. Okay. <laughs> this one I remember fondly, and it may be silly, but it's the toilet paper roll. <laughs> and uh, Kevin, I'm not sure if she's ingrained this one in you yet. But it has nothing to do with once the toilet, once you use all that last tissue to put the next roll on. I mean, that one I'm assuming has already been established. This is the position of the roll. <laughs> when you put that toilet paper roll, it better be coming out on the outside and not on the inside. I had no idea about proper placement and I learned this very quick with, quick with Erica. <laughs> Congrats, Kevin. You've already gotten this one. Buy Erica a fancy car that she can name. Okay, I do, ha I do have one more. And that's you have to let these AGTs continue. Annual girls trips. Every good girl needs good girl time. Uh, I have only met... <laughs> I have only met Kevin once before this actual trip. And that was back in 2007, when Erica brought Kevin over to my aunt's house for Thanksgiving. And <laughs> Kevin was a good sport. He basically got screened and quizzed by my female vultures in my family while I got to spend time with Erica. And the outcome, Kevin, we think you're a cool dude. And I just have to say, that's not cool like you're too cool, or like you know you're cool, you know what I mean? Okay, this part I have to read on the paper because I'm afraid I'm going to get choked. 
Erica, it was really fun putting this together and taking a trip down memory lane. Bottom line, I think the world of you. I'm grateful for our friendship and all those crazy college memories. It truly brings me great joy knowing that you have found someone so special to make you smile the way that you do. I have such a sense of peace and that this is so real and meant to be, which as a friend, this is so comforting for me. <sighs> Kevin, you have found yourself a wonderful woman. She will stand by you, support you, cheer you up when you are down. She will be real and tell you how she feels and what's affecting her only because she loves you. So everybody will raise your glasses. Here's to two people deep in love. May you have lots of great health, wealth, happiness, and lots of babies. Good luck. All right, all right. everyone give it up for Malia Norman. And next up, we have Eric Jackson.